Hello, I'm uh, Alex Kosher. I'm a CTO and co-founder at Alefirm. Uh, this is a new uh, Swiss uh, public blockchain project. And um, the reason we started this project is because our founder found a new uh, exciting consensus algorithm that supports uh, cross-shard transaction uh, natively. So basically, uh, you're probably aware of the scalability issue with uh, Bitcoin today. So right now we have uh, roughly uh, 10 transactions per minute, which is not enough if we want to reach uh, mass adoption. Um, so one of the solutions to improve uh, this is to use sharding. So sharding basically is a way to distribute transactions in different uh, uh, space. Um, we, using this technique, we can improve the, the throughput of the whole uh, blockchain. And um, so we, using our, our approach, uh, you can basically go up to 10k transaction per seconds, which is quite an improvement if you uh, uh, compare with uh, the current uh, Bitcoin infrastructure. Um, so how we get there, it's because our founder was doing a PhD at EPFL in Switzerland. And uh, in 2015, he found the first uh, Byzantine linear uh, agreement algorithm. And following some of the ideas from this PhD, he actually realized he could find a way, a nice way to scale uh, uh, blockchain. So we, we got started on that. Okay. Uh, we got uh, pretty quickly an alpha version running uh, at the beginning of the year. And we did run it on AWS, you know, to test if uh, our approach wo is working. And we were effectively able to get 10K transactions per second. So we're pretty excited now to, you know, build the real stuff. Uh, so we just use AWS because we need to have an easy way to create a lot of nodes and test our network. But this is just a temporary step. Uh, we should launch our real test net in a couple months, hopefully. So we started the project uh, last December. Um, but uh, our founder had the idea uh, probably one year before, but it took some time to finish the design and we started the company at that point. So we're currently around 12. Around 12. We are split between uh, Switzerland and China. Okay. Most of the technical people are in Switzerland and the uh, business and marketing okay. in China. And personally, I'm more like a, a programming language background mm -hmm. and it's really my friend uh, Cheng Wang that got me into it. I, yeah. I have to say I was a bit uh, skeptical about all of that at the beginning. I mean, I can see that he, huge impact, huge possibilities behind it, but uh, I felt like it was not yet ready, and he got me convinced by showing me his new technology, that this was actually the solution to make it use useful for people for today. I think that's one of the key points also about Alephium, that we are not doing something for in 10 years. We really want to implement something that can be used today. So right now, uh, we are in the process of releasing the test nets, and the next step will be to release a software development kit for developers, mm -hmm. and then they will be able to you know, look at our tech and start building exciting applications with it. It will be completely open source. The algorithm is actually described in the white paper entirely. There's even a formal proof and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we did re register a patent, but that's just to avoid patent trolling uh, in the future. And we will also provide a token API, so people will be able to create other token on top uh, of our system very easily. There is some oversharing projects. Mm -hmm. I would say that the most interesting one is probably what uh, Ethereum 2.0 are doing. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we have one of the Ethereum core developers as advisor of our company, so we have a in close relationship with them. The thing is that uh, what they are trying to do is quite complicated. There's still some open problems. Uh, it might take like five to ten years before getting something done. Um, so we really follow this research and we believe in, in them, but we just want something that we could implement today. So myself, I got started like probably one year ago when my friends uh, really uh, pushed okay. me into it. Gotcha. Um, but Cheng Wang was like uh, in distributed system. He was doing his PhD in distributed system, which is really the, the core of cryptography, of uh, blockchain, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, but before that, he actually before moving to Switzerland, he was in China and he was doing a PhD on uh, numerical uh, computing. So yeah, gotcha. we okay. have really this background, you know, complementary right. to, to build something like that. Uh, myself having more that uh, background in programming languages, uh, I hope I will be able to give some good insight for smart contract design and all this kind of stuff. Because that's also one of the key points about Alephium, that we want to provide scalable uh, smart contracts using a UTXO model, which I think we are the only one to, to do right now. It's really a new blockchain, so it will be a new coin. Yes, okay. completely new from scratch. Um, the reason we do so is because we cannot take our, our new sharing approach and just put it on Bitcoin. It will be too much of a big change, so we really have to start from scratch. Uh, we were wondering if for us it will be an issue, how we will deal with that. Um, but the thing for us is that, I mean, we really believe in our uh, technology. We really think we have something different. And one of the big difference with uh, other startups uh, in, the, in the space is that, you know, we build the product before even doing a token set or anything like that. So we really have a technology that works, that we can showcase. And I think that makes a big difference when you start talking to people that want to invest or do this. You know. okay. 
uh, it's nice to see what uh, Facebook uh, did release and stuff like that because I think that increased awareness uh, for the mainstream public. So I think we will we are reaching the tipping point of mass adoption. So we really have to be careful about scalability because that will be our next big issue. Uh, Sometimes, I mean, people talk about it, we see some second layer solution, but we still have to fix this as the first layer, and that's what we try to do uh, at LFM. So I think this is something we should uh, focus in the future. At LFM, we don't believe that there's just one single solution to solve all this problem. We think that layer one and layer two should be complementary. Basically, with our approach, we, we improve the throughput, so you can do more transactions at the same time, but we don't reduce the latency. So you will still need uh, another solution at, uh, at another layer, to have like fast payment, like lightning like networks and stuff sure. like that. So I think, yeah, everything should work together to get a good UX so people will finally use Bitcoin everywhere. It's really hard to see, to see how far that will go, but uh, I think it will be really disruptive for the, for the whole world. I really hope that we'll be able to, you know, um, that people will be able to manage themselves the way they want more freely and independently from the states. I mean, that's the way I, I like to look at it. I would like to think about this system as being a, a building block for the next generation democracies, but let's see how it goes. <laughs>